Happy Super Bowl Sunday! It's miserable and ugly snowing outside where I live, and I have the flu. Hi everyone, and welcome to week five. This week we're moving into the research phase. Your main tasks this week are to engage with a truly colossal PowerPoint slideshow that I've created. It's seriously like 400 slides, not kidding. Read a bit more about how, despite what other professors might say, Google and Wikipedia are actually great research tools. Other professors who think otherwise are incorrect. And practice citation in this week's Blackboard discussion was just practice. I don't need you to get it 100% right the first time, but I do want you to actually try. I feel like I go over everything you need to know in the PowerPoint slideshow, which you'll want to download and interact with full screen for best results. Again, it's just ridiculously long, but worth it. Do please spend some serious time interacting with this. I worked really hard to try to make the research make sense and to try to make the research process seem interesting and maybe even entertaining. Okay, but what is research? Research is essentially a way to organize and document data that you accrue to answer a burning question that you have. There are a lot of things to keep in mind, like how to ask a good question in the first place, how much research should you find, what kind of research should you find, where to look for it, how to incorporate it gracefully into your work, and how to document it. We will slowly tackle many of these issues in the coming weeks, slowly and thoroughly, because the focus of English 102 really is indeed academic research writing. So this week is kind of an intro to secondary research. Next week, I'll want you to work with the library to conduct some research. The week after that, we'll work on the citing everything, and then we will work on the actual writing part, when you incorporate the quotes and paraphrases into your actual paper. And this is all done before moving on to primary research, and I'll ask you to actually go out and conduct your own research study, but we'll get to that later. Wow, also can we just take a moment and review how many times I have said the word research in one announcement? Research, 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 I have said the word research. I've been really busy with fire. We gotta crack Gretchen Wieners. We crack Gretchen and then we crack the lock on Regina's whole dirty history. Say crack again. Crack. Research, research. <laughs> anyway, as I mentioned in this week's Blackboard discussion post assignment sheet, during week five, I'd like you to practice academic research citation. Now, in the context of research citation, academic integrity, plagiarism, and source documentation, it's one thing to give credit because it's the right thing to do, instead of passing off someone else's work or knowledge as your own, by mentioning the source in your paper, but it's quite another thing to follow the conventions of whatever genre you're communicating with. For example, there are a lot of different practices we could consider. For example, you during a broadcast journalism would see a rolling ticker at the bottom of the screen for TV, or hear a verbal citation for radio naming the person and their work. After a movie, you'd see rolling credits. For a grant or a novel or business writing, you'd probably defer to your funder or publisher or boss, and each might have their own different style. For a research paper for school, though, you'll formally document your sources, right? This includes different academic citation styles, like MLA, which stands for Modern Language Association, or APA, which stands for American Psychological Association, or a few others that are less common. Alrighty, so yeah, read some stuff and then practice citing some stuff. Hopefully this week's activities help you not only to choose and practice a citation style, but also to embark on a really, really good research journey, research, 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 and perhaps even refine your paper proposal, which will eventually transform over time into your paper's introductory paragraph. So if you have any questions, uh, make sure that you ask them, but otherwise just keep up the great work.